I make no apologies to anybody and the views expressed here are my personal thoughts and I fear I need to share them with you. I am the founder and editor of Awesome South Africans, a platform highlighting and acknowledging the awesome things South Africans are doing and the experiences we have to offer. Based on the five vowels, A, E, I, O, U, I can surmise the project. A for acknowledge people and organizations that are going beyond the norm here in South Africa. E for encouraging local tourism. I to inspire youth to reach further via our school talks. O for organizing and offering logistical support to our profiles on the project. And U for ululating out loud all the positive news South Africa has to offer. The events of xenophobia in the last two weeks have thrown a damper in our office and in watching the news we have not really been that active. But today I've decided this stops. I'm not going to ask you to light a candle or post a hashtag. I'm not saying that these things are wrong, nor however am I going to ask you to turn a blind eye on what is happening in our beautiful country right now. What I am going to ask you to do is respond by sharing a positive story, a ray of positive light, share an act of kindness you've either performed or witnessed, or just say something nice. I want the world to see that these acts of aggression are being performed by less than 1% of our population. I call to you, the remaining 99% of our population, to open the floodgates of positivity. Let's show the world that we are awesome. I love South Africa. Yes, there are days when it's tough, but heck, have you heard what's happening in other parts of the world? Our international image has been tarnished by these acts, but not so much that it can't be undone. Yes, let's shout out loud to stop the xenophobia nonsense and do everything we can to help stop it, but let's also flood the media with positivity. I suppose what I'm trying to say is, we are awesome. Let's show it. Heck, this might even rub off on those one percenters. To kill a fire with fire is difficult, sometimes needed, but it leaves scars. So let's rather kill this fire of xenophobia with the power of positivity. Too much to ask? <laughs>